Welcome back. Uh, in this video, we're going to learn how to load CSV, how to read CSV or comma separated values or character separated values. And this is when the real fun is going to begin. So usually we have the data in these te text files and we read them and we manipulate them, use them for data analysis, data visualization, you know, data mining, machine learning, stuff like that. And uh, you can't escape, you know, learning how to do uh, data manipulation, you know, CSV data manipulation in Python, especially in Pandas. So the way to do that is like this, uh, you know, the usual way of, uh, by the way, I've created the data, the, um, the notebook loading CSV, I've named it, and we load the pan, we load our, you know, Pandas package the same way. And then now we just use a function read CSV, um, and then we pass it the path to our CSV file. I've downloaded this CSV file from the spatial key website. Um, and if we read it to shift enter, then it can be read quite easily. And then I can do df.head to display the first five rows. And by the way, dot head, I can pass the number of rows I want to display if I want, but by default it's five. And we notice that it looks like it's um, insurance data. Um, the read CSV function is quite powerful if we do shift tab here and let's maximize and then just pop it out into uh, a separate page. It has a large number of parameters that we can set so we can f pass it the file path and then we can choose the separator. Um, sometimes it's not a comma, sometimes it's a semicolon or a tab. Then we just pass that here if it's a semicolon. Then we put a semicolon if it's a tab. Then we could put slash t or maybe it's one space for example. Um, um, we can uh, avoid the header as well. For example, sometimes um, the first row in our data is not the header by default. Um, by the way, by default, um, pa pandas assumes that the first line is the header, but uh, if we want to e use the, the first line as a normal row in our data, then we can escape the header and so forth and so on and so forth. A large number of options. Uh, one really interesting option that I'd like you to be aware of is, you know, to do with encoding. If I do control F, encoding. Yeah, so we can tell it what encoding to use. By default, it doesn't have any encoding, but for example, if you have, um, you know, data that's encoded um, in, in a separate way, then we can say just encoding equals, for example, UTF-8, or something like that, right? If uh, pandas can't read the CSV by default and the problem is encoding, it'll tell you in the error message. Okay, so that's how to read it. Like I said, uh, we can specify, for example, the separator. I can say sep equals in the most way, comma, and it should be fine. And um, by the way, let's have a look at the actual file. So this is what the file looks like. I'm opening it using uh, LibreOffice Calc, equivalent to Microsoft uh, Excel. Right. Uh, what else can we do? Well, let's escape the header and uh, tell it, for example, that. Okay, so we've told it separator equals comma. We can tell it now that header equals none, and it'll complain. Why is it complaining? Ah, uh, da 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 da. da. It has read it. I don't know why it's complaining. Maybe it's a different version. Oh, low, low memory, is it? Anyway, we can investigate that later. Um, what we can see here is that the first row, which was the header, which was the headers, now our is our first row, and then Pandas has automatically given uh, head, uh, you know, headers or column names as 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on and so forth. As you can see, we can cancel that. Get back to normal. If we display the data now, uh, we can have our header back, and we can also specify the number of rows that we wanted to uh, to to read. By default, it reads everything. But I can say n row. One. Can I do tab? It's completely automatically. And say, for example, give me only the first, you know, ten rows. If I do head eleven, it'll give me the ten rows only because we don't have more than ten rows. 
Um, what else? I think that's it. Uh, we can uh, see how we can write to CSV, but it's probably better to actually have that uh, in a separate video. So let's stop here. It's quite easy, as you can you can see, to load CSV data. Likewise, it's quite easy to read CSV. Or to, I'm sorry, to write or save CSV data, and that's what we're going to see next. Okay, let's stop here and see you next time.